Oh my gosh. If you guys don't know where I am right now, I'm at the location of the Hell House. I'm currently walking on the train tracks to get to that bridge. And if you guys know me, I do, I'm not a fan of heights. So this, I'm not liking. Like my legs are literally shaking when doing this. But literally a train came by not that long ago. So it shouldn't feel, I should feel a lot safer. Cause like if it can hold a train, it can hold me. But still, just like the thought of these things failing and me falling would suck. Yeah, but I'm not enjoying it at all. Oh, uh, almost there. Almost there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we made it to the tunnel, which isn't much. It's just an empty tunnel. But I just walked that. I'm not, I'm happy, but it seems I have to walk back the way I came. But yeah, this, this is Hell House. But anyways, what's up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video on the Forgotten City channel. Today we are back with my Urban Explorer exploration. Today we are visiting Hell House or what, like, or basically what remains of Hell House. Um, there's basically nothing out left here. The main altar thing, which is like the main thing standing, that's not all there anymore. Um, so I was told that, this, that there's nothing else here. Like it's completely torn down, all the buildings and structures and stuff are non-existent. But we're gonna go check it out, see if there is anything. But first, I just wanted to come here and show you guys this bridge. Look at that. Look at that bridge. What does it say up there? 91 El Chasta 03. Hopefully I read that correctly. But anyways, that's, this is the tunnel. Anyways, I'm gonna have to cross this bridge again. I'm not looking forward to it, but the place where we want to go is somewhere up there in the, in the mountains, up there. So hopefully we get it. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys when we get there. Hey, okay, also bear in mind, you will most likely see other people here. Yeah. You won't be the only ones, because this is a popular place for people to hang out. Yes. And you just walk past two people already. Yeah. They were friendly though, they were just doing their Instagram photos. Yeah, of course. But there's a possibility of running into some weird people oh. at this place. It's very unlikely, but like I said before, there are rumors of Satanists doing rituals here. Oh, fuck that. I'll be going. So, we gotta be cautious. So anyways, like I said before, I'll see you guys when we get to closer to the place. Okay guys, so we've made it onto the trail. And we have two people joining us on this expedition. Uh, this randomly happened, but so they're, they're very nice people, and they're joining us on this expedition with us. But anyways, they were looking for the hell house. We were looking for it as well, and they just stumbled. We just stumbled into each other, and now we're looking for it together. I believe we found the trail that leads us to it. Uh, by the way, there was like a school here, but. They tore that down. Oh. They tore down the school, I think a year ago or two years ago. So the school doesn't exist anymore. But the altar is kind of still there. But it's not like it, as like it used to be. Because the altar originally had a giant cross on it. It doesn't have the cross anymore. And like, you, you'll see when it gets to it, it's kind of crazy. There's this weird graffiti around the whole entire altar. Like it's some serious satanic stuff. Oh, okay. Like it's weird. Whew. Like you know what I'm talking about when we get there. It's like there's some weird graffiti on that, on the altar. This is one of the buildings right here. Yeah. One of the old ruins and there's a wall. You see right there? Yeah. That's a brick wall. So I believe the altar is just past the But yeah, this is a uh, old building right here. Okay, there's stairs. There's stairs. Now those aren't the stairs I was talking about. They were other stairs. We passed them. They were probably covered up by like something. I don't know. They were overgrowth. I don't like it. It's weird. You 
want to get crucified? What? You want to get crucified? Bruh. No? <laughs> Um, oh, there's a bunch of people here today. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting this many people to be here today. Yeah. But it's understandable. It's a nice day. I mean, yeah. Sweet, I guess it's like that. Like, there's more people, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, it's, I believe it's way over there. But I think they all came up a different way from where yeah, we came from. Yeah, and I saw the other trail over here, and I'm like, dude, awesome, perfect. That means we can head back that way. Yeah. All right, on the yeah. way back, so. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be a lot faster than what we're going to do. It'll definitely be a lot faster, yeah. I'll go back for long, but I want to go short way. This is, I believe, the old driver with something. Yeah, we need to drive over. Yeah, because this, at one point, was just a big campus area. When I was thriving. It was a boys' college. It was the only boys' college. Yeah. Uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. You see the graffiti I was talking yeah, about? Yeah, I know what you meant. I don't think the camera's picking up anymore, but there's very... Yeah, yeah, and I see the dragon with their, like, yeah. okay, that's it. Some very interesting graffiti right here. Yeah, exactly. They're going to miss it. I'm not going to lie on that. Yeah, I had to shelter still. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, yeah, it's a trash bag. Yeah, that's, this is basically the last standing uh, piece of um, structure of um, St. Mary's College, is this altar right here. Everything else has been torn down mostly. Oh, okay. It's cool, it's nice people. If you notice, there's like fire pits We're circling the, the place as well. So, you know, maybe there were some rituals done here. There most likely has been, but yeah, I don't think there's anything down there. You can go check, but I don't think there's anything down here. It's probably just a giant drop, I believe. Yeah. Literally nothing. It's just a giant walled area that leads up to that building right yeah. there. But yeah, it's a cool place. Even though there's like there's not much. It's still kind of cool to see. I was told somewhat recently that every everything around here was torn down. I believe majority of the buildings in this area have been torn down right. besides this one right here. This is the only standing structure. Is there anything else here? Is there anything else? Here. Yeah. There's a few things, but this is like the, the main thing. Oh, okay. Other than that, there's a few ruins, a few walls. There's half of a building 
like the basement of the building. Yeah. So standing, we can go down, down, down that if you want. All right. If you feel like doing it. But other than that, there's nothing very here. Uh, this is like the the main thing. Is this uh, yeah. altar? Okay, gotcha. And I honestly don't really know what it was used for. I tried to figure out some history on like the altar and what it was used for. They didn't really say much about like the use of this thing. So I have no idea what it was used for. I don't think they even mentioned it was a religious college. So I don't know why they have a note. They had an altar with the cross. So I don't know what it, what it is, but it, it's still nice to see. Hey, right here was where the thing was held, the cross. Mm -hmm. It was mounted on this thing, and it was all the way up there, oh, okay. up there. That's where the cross was. It was torn down. Huh? Right. Okay. We're just on the same it's okay. Right. Bye. See, you See ya. They're very nice people. Yeah. Very nice. But anyways, this was the cross. It's it went all the way up here. Mm -hmm. As you see, it was it, someone took it down. Someone cut it off. Don't know why, but there used to be a giant cross here. Oh, okay. I'm kind of disappointed that the cross isn't around anymore. Because if it was, that would have been a much better photo than this list. Right. But at least we still have this altar thing right here. Okay, guys, so we're done with the altar now. We're going to be checking out another place that's here. It's an old... Um, it's part of an old building. Um, basically, the basement is the only place that's left of it. The rest of it, the, the, the rest of the building is non-existent. But we're gonna go check that out. And then that's, that's, I believe that's basically it of this place. The main thing here was that altar. At some other point uh, in the past, there was a, an actual college building here, but all of that's all been torn down now. There's only a very few, few ruins left in the area. And as I mentioned before, that altar originally at one point um, had a giant cross on it, but that cross isn't there anymore. So that kind of sucks. But anyways, at least the altar wasn't torn down because I was told this before heading here was that this, this place is torn down. Like all the buildings and stuff have been torn down. That's not really the case because the altar's still there, but I believe the majority of like the big buildings have been torn down. But anyways, we're going to hit up this other building and after that we're going to... I believe we're done. This is the possibly a place where they did rituals. Right here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's some more water for you. I already got water. It's more. You have more water. <laughs> it's Roderick. Oh, Rod Roderick. <laughs> yeah, no, he's right here. My boy, um, Roderick. I mean, they're loaded diver right there. <laughs> oh, there's people in there? Oh, we gotta wait for them to leave before we go in there. Uh, I'm not... I'm not going to a basement with random people. I'm waiting. We gotta hold this. Let me get, let me get my flashlight out. I'm gonna take my K2 as well. Should I do K2? Yeah, yeah, do a K2. Because this looks like a place for rituals. Yeah. Um. Do you want a flashlight? Uh, sure. Because I, I got both. Yeah. Maybe if I feel like I'll use this field box. It can get good, can, good sound and I guess. One, two, three, George. You're off the interstate, by the way. Yeah, I know. Hey, there's nothing here. There's not, there's nothing here. Oh, here's a room. Yeah, this is just an empty room. I can get away with that, actually. But. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. 
Alright, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is my name on the wall? That's not, that's not very nice. The train tracks are right down there. The, the group that was with us, the two people, I don't, I don't think they came here to this place. Uh, I don't think they know about it. But did, did, I, mean, I like this room, but I'm not gonna lie. I actually do like it. Did you notice the beds in the corner? What bed? The, I believe these are Rambo bed frames. I think they're this one. No, they're not bed frames. Oh, yeah, look like a bed. These are bed frames. Yeah, okay, yeah, it does look like it, though. Or not like um, the cushioning for uh, the mattress. Right. Mattress frames. Yeah, yeah. So this building could have been for the male uh, students right. that were living at the college at the time. Oh, okay, gotcha. I just want to see if there's a the K2 can pick up anything here. Oh, there you go. A little bit. A little bit. Go around there. Or like over the beds? Yeah. I think that's good. Picking up anything. I guess I'm, yeah. Oh, I swear to God, there's like a go for shit. You didn't get any spikes? No. Like you got stuff at the hospital. Yeah, we definitely got stuff at the hospital. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Come on, very quick, before we go, I gotta, I gotta get pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey guys, I don't know if you can see me at the moment. I think we can now. I don't know if you can Huh? It don't matter, it's not like get home. Alright. So guys, we are leaving now. That was the basement of one of the buildings. And probably one of the only buildings you can actually go inside of because all the other ones are non-existent. They're not around anymore. They've all been torn down. It's the last one. Last standing building in around. But it wasn't bad. There was a few stuff in there. But now, we are leaving this place. And not the, not that much of crazy stuff here. There was that altar. And there's a few other things spread across the forest. Um, so yeah, it's not the most craziest abandoned place that we visited. But... At least there's still some stuff here, but it would have been nice to come here like when the actual college was still around. I don't know exactly when that place, the college was torn down, but from my knowledge, it was torn down between 2019 and 2020. Because there are some photos of the place, of the actual college building in uh, college in uh, 2020. So. But yeah, that's basically this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, what did you say this one? This one was okay, right? Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't the most, it wasn't the craziest one, but it was okay. We could, if we just continued walking um, 50 feet, we have gone to the staircase. We took the, we took the long way back when we met the other two people that were yeah. looking for it as well. We ended up heading down the train track, walking for about five minutes until we just decided, hey, let's just run up a hill. It was right over there. What the heck? That's kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. Okay, so that's basically what I was doing. If you're wondering why I'm doing what I'm doing here, I'm here because I'm recording the outro. 
of today's video. It's actually a few days after I ended up recording the video um, because when I was editing the video and processing it, I realized I didn't have a proper outro. I recorded an outro when I was at the place, but for some reason I didn't end up hitting the record button when I was doing my outro. So for some reason, it didn't record. So that's why I'm doing the outro here. Um, why am I doing it in this area? Because I was driving by this area and I figured, hey, this looks like a cool place to do an outro. So I'm doing it right here in this area. As, as I mentioned throughout the video, there wasn't much there. There was the altar and there was like a few other buildings scattered across the place. I told a friend about it when I got home and he told me about all this other stuff that was in the area and that I didn't really know about. I knew about some of the stuff, like I knew like across the lake there was an abandoned mill, but I didn't know there was so much other stuff. He told me that up, up on the hill, across from the lake, there's a giant like mountain hill. There's like, there's like two abandoned houses up on the hill. I didn't really know about that stuff. So it's nice for him to inform me on that. I will be heading back there at some point, if possible. It's, it's kind of a long drive to get out there, but I'm willing to do it just to see what else is out there. Um, and also, if you two guys are watching, the two people that I ran into and we basically um, went to the place together. If you remember from the beginning of the video to the point where we got to the altar, two people ended up joining us on our exploration to the uh, Hell House. Um, so if, if you guys are watching this video, it was nice of you to join us and you guys were very nice people. I really enjoyed it. Uh, but yeah, that's basically this video. Uh, there's not much else to say. I was planning on like heading to see some other stuff, but my friend Gamer Bro, he was tired. He didn't really want to do anything else. He was hungry. I was also hungry. So we just ended up getting food after that. But it was a nice experience overall. But anyways, yeah, so that's basically it for this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.